So, here we go, everybody. You see the date in the top right-hand corner. It's April 17, 2024, which means it's playoff time, which means the Boston Bruins are back in the playoffs, baby. Taking on the Tampa Bay Lightning, so GG's. God. <laughs> Fucking GG. Right out of the gates. Webcam is covering Edmonton and Anaheim in the bottom left-hand corner, but you gotta look at the rest of the matchups. I don't know what the hell to expect here, to be honest. I really do not know what to expect with this, the ASU playoff game. <laughs> that barn's gonna be rocking. That barn's gonna be rocking, I tell you. Uh, thankfully, we entered the playoffs at full health, which is pretty nice. This may just be Patrice Bergeron's last run. He is 38 years old. Still an 84, though, which isn't that bad. Still a very useful player, but we might just be approaching the end. I do like this team. Again, we couldn't find any great additions at the trade deadline. We'll be undergoing a lot of changes this offseason, too. And if this is the offseason where Patrice Bergeron retires, then yeah. Yeah, we're, uh... Oof. Oof, we're gonna we're gonna have a rough time. We're gonna have a rough time tearing this bad boy down. But we're not thinking about it that way because we are gonna beat the Tampa Bay Lightning. I'm calling it. Although they do look like this. Gage Gonsalves. Dennis Shalosky are hurt. So it's Colton Point, Kucherov, Moore, Stamkos, Sorelli, Fortier, Morgan, Hagel, Kopke, Grant, Bodie, Wild, because of the forward injury. Defense is Hedman, Sergachev, McDonough, Chernak, Zub, and Cal Foot. Goalie, Andre Vasilevsky, because of course. Yeah, it's not going to be easy, man. It's it's not going to be an easy run here at all. It never is. Gonsalves is out until July. Cholosky's out unless they go to the cup final, basically. Fair enough. Fair enough. We've had some uh, interesting playoff luck or lack thereof so far. A reminder that we lost... To the Vegas Golden Knights in last year's Stanley Cup Final. So, uh, yeah. We're looking for a bit of redemption. A bit of revenge. It is game one against the Tampa Bay Lightning. First period. And we're up two to nothing. Matt Grizzlick, Patrice Bergeron. Only held him to seven shots, too. That's not that bad. Second period, 4-1. Marchand and Taylor Hall. Brad Marchand, who uh, called out a uh, a local reporter, so to speak. A local reporter, so to speak, saying that, oh, if Bergeron retires, they should trade Brad Marchand. And Brad said, LOL, no. He basically he said tough take, to be exact. Here's the tweet. Here's the tweet. Look at the tweet. That's right, Brad. Hit, hit him with the ratio. Hit him with the ratio. He's going nowhere. Unless Don Sweeney's that dumb. Don Sweeney's dumb. Is he that dumb? I don't know. Third period, we're up 4-1. to one. We are up 4-1. to one. Brad Marshall would look pretty good in the trade. Yes, I'll take one Lucas Raymond in return. That's the starting point. I'll take Lucas Raymond plus. Charlie McAvoy makes it 5-1. to one. We are going to convincingly beat Tampa on the road in game one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not too shabby. Andrew Kopp. The missing link, they call him. With a basket of apples. Good game. Good, good game. Very happy. Very, very happy with that start. Let's see if we can keep it up in game two. Can we keep it up in game two? First period. Goalless. Six shots apiece. Second period, 2 nothing. Oscar Steen on the power play and Brad Marchand. We're looking okay so far. We're looking okay. I'm not getting my hopes up just yet. Definitely not going to sit here and get my hopes up. But, you know, you never know. Polly, what's going on? 
Jeremy Swayman. I might have to pay that man his money. Sway shuts out Tampa. Stopped all 27 shots. And the Bruins take both games on the road to start this series. Outscoring Tampa 7-1 to in the process. That is uh, shocking. The second you pay him, he'll end up like game one and two, Markstrom. We'll go to game three. No reason to change up the lines. We'll just roll with it. First period, 2 nothing Boston. Keegan Colasar and Trent Frederick. Two goals from the fourth line. It's 2 to nothing. Second period, still 2 to nothing. As we head to the third. Still two to nothing. There we go. Tampa finally scores. It's Brandon Hagel. The Hagelmeister. Hagel and cream cheese. Unless you're one of the weirdos that likes butter. Anthony Sorelli ties it at two. And we're going to overtime. So we do blow a third period lead on home ice. Uh, not not great, but but we go to OT. Here we go. Come on, come on. You still got a chance for redemption here. You blew it, but you haven't blown it. You get what I'm saying? Okay, now now you've blown it. Ross Colton completes the comeback for the Lightning. Three two is the final. Tampa wins their first game of the series, and so far. The uh, the home team has yet to win. We call this an inverse Carolina-Boston. Uh, we need to change something heading into, game, heading into game four. I don't know what it is, but there's going to be a line that's not really clicking. It's that third line so far. It's that third line. They're not really clicking. I can't believe I'm going to do this. But we are going to change up how we look down the middle. Steen, Coyle, Bergeron now down the middle out of pure desperation because this is voodoo in terms of the home team not winning and we're hoping to break that trend right now. We're hoping to break that trend right now. First period, goalless. This idea might not work. Second period. Okay, it definitely didn't work. Point and Kucherov both score on the power play. Yeah, we're boned. We are stuck. Yeah, it's over. 5 nothing. Tampa wins it. The home team losing trend is in full effect. Both teams absolutely blowing it on home ice. Uh, no amount of line changes will stop that voodoo bullshit. <laughs> Let's just put the lines back to where they were. And we'll go to game five. We'll go to game five. If Tampa breaks the streak here, then I'm absolutely boned in game six. Are we going to get EA scripted out of this nonsense? First period, 2 nothing Boston. David Pasternak with the both of them. Kana and everybody else, hello. Hope you're doing well. Second period. Oh, my God. Marshawn made it 3-0. The Lightning back to within one. Zub and Kucherov. Come on. Power play goes to waste. Boys, you cannot blow another 3-0 lead here. Maybe not a 3-0 lead last time, but we've blown it regardless. Pasta gets the hat trick on Martin Jones. Please hold on. Kucherov, or Kucherov, Vasilevsky isn't even in. Kucherov scores, son of a bitch. Said his name like Biggie Smalls in the mirror. We're going to overtime. We're going to overtime again. It's 4-4. It's 2-all here in game five. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. You can't, you can't blow this again. You can't. You can't! You can't! The Lightning went in overtime again. 
Franchise might have substituted a bunch of creative teams and ended up having duplicates. Oh, yeah. That'll happen. A David Posternock playoff hat trick goes to waste, and the Lightning have now won three straight games. Oh, I have sin. I put it on the other t the other day. You know how I know that? Because it's literally still right here. It's the closest jersey. I did wear this on stream. So we can qualify Swayman. Yep. And we will. And we will. Um, I don't think he's getting that big contract anymore. Game six. Do it again, boy. I will not. I need to take off that option. I hate that shit. It's been too fucking muggy around here. Like, what the hell's the humidity right now? God damn it. God damn it. What the hell is the humidity? 98%, dude. It's a fucking living nightmare where I am right now. And it's only May. <sighs> Swayman, you get the start, buddy. You get the start. If you blow it, then I'm probably not bringing you back on a big contract. It's game six, buddy. Get it done. Get it done. First period. one nothing, Boston. Craig Smith. God damn. Second period, still one nothing Boston. Dude, I can't. I I just we can't get any insurance goals. This is awful. This is awful. Power play for Tampa. We know where this is going. We know where this is going. Oh, come on. Come on. Please, Swayman. Hold on. Force game seven in Tampa. What's the worst that could happen? Playing game seven on the road in the first round for the Boston Bruins. It's a 24 save shutout for Jeremy Swayman. And we are going to seven against the Lightning. What's the worst that could happen? Game seven against the Lightning. Right, Leafs fans? There you go, Enda. You are in that one. <sighs> I mean, Sway has got a 924. Top line's delivering. Second line isn't. Cop hasn't had a point since game one. That middle six is completely failing us. That middle six is completely failing us. And there's nothing I can do. I am technically allowed to play Cop at center. Because, again, he technically plays all three positions. He's got fucking 85 face-offs for a reason. We're also going to swap Coyle and Smith. I mean, Colasar has a game for God's... Or a goal uh, in this uh, series so far. The only other option... Man, there really isn't an option. That was there. Let's do it. <clears throat> Let's do it. Game 7 in Tampa. Could this be Patrice Bergeron's last game? I certainly hope not. First period, 2-1. Coyle and Bergeron, both with goals. RTM Zub scores for the Lightning. Second period. We prayed at the altar of St. Patrice. And our wish, our prayer was heard. Pasternak, Smith, Steen, and Smith again. We go to the third period up 6-1. to one. Vasilevsky gets pulled in the game 7. Pasternak scores again. Man, Toronto really blew it if it is this easy. 7-1. to one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Pasta scores. It's 8-1. to one. We're not even going to watch the handshake line. Get out of here. Get out of here. 8 to 1, the final score. The Bruins take game 7 and move on to round number 2. I hate the Lions name. They call it the Perfection Line, which is fucking stupid. No one in Boston really calls it that anymore. Uh, but holy shit, did they show up? That's uh traded for Lucas Raymond, Brad Marchand. There was the first star of the game. <laughs> We're moving on, and we will play Carolina in round two. Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me, right? Oh, boy. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Let's take a look. So it is the Rangers and Blue Jackets. You also have the Preds and Chicago against the, well, the winner of the Battle of Alberta. Round two is what you got. You'll love to see it. The Battle of Alberta in round number two. Hide your goalies. And in terms of our numbers, I mean, Swayman was pretty damn solid. I mean, he only lost one game in regulation. Defensively, I mean, McAvoy and Riley really showed up. Again, this is Riley and Grizzlick's last run with the team unless they change their minds. They want it out. So this defense is really going to change by the end of this. Pasta was incredible. Craig Smith was very solid. Colasar was solid, too. Can't hate on it. Brad Marchand was incredible. Cop showed up in Game 7 when we needed him. Uh, Taylor Hall needs to stop sucking ass and actually show up. He's got one year left at 6 mil. Bergeron was amazing. Uh, and then aside from that, you know, um, thank God the top line showed up. Thank God the top line showed up. It's Carolina next. I'm ready to get hurt again. <laughs>